so I feel like I can never say good morning properly. Like, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I feel like I always say good morning. Like, when I talk to my dogs, I'm like, good morning. But I can't really say that's not a YouTube video, can I? Anyway, okay, so I thought I would film a what are you in a day video. I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy filming this video. Um, just a heads up, I am like pescatarian, so I don't eat meat. Um, it just doesn't appeal to me. Like I still get people asking me like, oh, do you miss it? No, not at all. Like there's so many other meat alternatives. Um, I am trying to stop eating fish, but oh, I just love lobster way too much. So oh, yeah, I can't, I, I don't feel like I can stop eating fish anytime soon, but I've taken the first step with not eating meat and also trying to like make replacements. So like instead of eating, instead of drinking cow's milk, trying to drink like soy milk and bits like that so yeah that's just a little heads up in regards to my dietary information also i don't want anyone to feel like um upset by this video or basically i don't want anyone to feel triggered by this video um this is literally just what i eat in a day this is my norm what what's my norm might not be your norm and also it can vary day to day so like what i'm showing you today tomorrow might be different so today i do plan on cooking all my meals like my breakfast lunch and dinner but like so some days I don't cook every day, like some days I'll go and pick up like a food sandwich or like a meal deal or I'll go and pick up like um, a, a salad bowl or something from Marks and Spencer's or some days I'll literally just have a takeaway. I don't do this every single day and um, I try and do this most days because I do try and live like a healthy lifestyle like i try and keep myself really healthy in terms of like what i'm putting in my body especially like the new year with like starting the gym and everything i have really tried to eat really really healthy um like meal prep my food so yeah i thought i'd just share with you guys my day um i'm gonna get out of bed i am gonna go to the gym this morning i'm gonna put my camera on charge because it's flashing at me right now that it's about to die hey guys sorry i've been having a jam i've been listening to some music um i'm ready now i've got my gym clothes on I'm gonna do some breakfast. So for a snack, I'm gonna have an apple and then I'm gonna make up my protein shake. Yeah, so I haven't got any bananas to put in my protein shake, but it's okay. We're just gonna do a protein shake by itself with some soy milk, it's fine. Um, excuse my washing machine as well. This is the protein shake that I've been having and I actually really enjoy it. It's the um, vegan protein from Woman's Best in the chocolate flavour. I do kind of wish I got the cereal flavour. I was so indecisive between the chocolate and the um, cereal. And so I literally just put one scoop in there. I normally use soy milk, but this has been in the cupboard, so it's not cold, so I'm definitely not gonna use that. So I am gonna use semi-skimmed cow's milk today, which is annoying. I really just don't fancy like a lukewarm <laughs> um, protein shake at all. Um, I've also got these protein bars that are ordered. Um, I've got protein bars all over my hand. I've got these protein bars which are ordered, which are really, really delicious. Um, they're like chocolate and caramel. I'm not really that keen on protein bars, but they're the these are the first ones that I found that I actually like. So I'm gonna have this as like a little snack. Mmm, it's actually so good. Yeah, it looks like this. It kind of looks like um, a Rice Krispies bar. And then I'm also gonna take a bottle of water with me. So I'm gonna have some lemon water, my protein shake, an apple, and then I'm gonna take my protein bar with me. So yeah, I've literally just finished in the gym. Um, like the past, I'd say like two weeks when I've been working out, I've just got so like hot and um, like I'm just really struggling with my like workouts to like do them so I don't feel like I'm putting in I feel like I'm putting in like 60% effort because I'm just really struggling with them and I literally don't know what is wrong with me at the minute um, I'm kind of putting it down because like having polycystic ovaries my periods are just a little bit all over the place so I haven't had a period for a while literally like two months which oh, is just so annoying and then I had a period last week and I just feel like it's really knocked me about in terms of like my like my appetite appetite like my fitness like i'm just so hot all the time like i'm not really like a sweaty person but like recently when i've been going to the gym i've been getting like so hot and i'm kind of putting it down to hormonal like i have been googling it and it does say like hormones can 
like have an effect on it but yeah like i feel like i'm only giving 60 percent at the gym and i'm like absolutely dead um but it's fine so i'm gonna go to where should i go first i'm gonna go to MS first so i'm gonna pop to MS now and then i'm probably gonna pop to aldi after if i can be bothered after MS. um i really want to go to MS because i want to get some i'm just really craving soup ellie had like um a soup from MS the other day and since she's had it i've craved it so i'm gonna go and get some soup and then some other little bits and bobs from MS because i feel like they do oh and i nearly forgot that this is actually what I eat in a day video um so I drank my lemon infused water and then I've still got the lemon in there but in the gym there's like a refresher ref oh my god there's a refresher section where you can go and get a drink so you literally just have to type your code in and then you can pick like um a fruit water so I went for the multi-fruit water today and I went for it on the highest strength so because I feel like if it's anything less than the highest strength you can't really taste it so I always get the highest strength and I just filled my bottle up with that so this is my second bottle of water for the day. Yeah, I need, really need to drink some more water, to be honest. So, excuse the mess behind me. This is my Marks and Spencer shot. But I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to snack on now, just whilst I'm cooking. Lewis loves peanuts. So, like, I always get him, like, um, bags of peanuts and then, like, put them in this jar so he can snack on peanuts. But they're not, like, my favourite thing. So, when I was in Marks and Spencer's, I saw these pistachio nuts. And I literally love pistachio nuts, like... Honestly, when I went to Sicily, they did like um, a pistachio. Oh my God, that smell. Mm, they did like pistachio ice cream and oh, it was just the best. So I'm good. just snacking on these nuts. I also brought, I'm obsessed with hummus. So I normally buy the Moroccan style hummus from Aldi. So this is my one that I bought the other day. But I was walking around M&S and I saw this and it's got chickpeas on the top. Oh, like, I'm just a sucker for it. So I saw this one, so I got another one. So I've actually got two lots of hummus, but I'll eat it all, I'm sure. Um, so there's this one and then it's got like chickpeas and stuff on the top. And this is also, this is also a Moroccan style hummus. I'm just going to snack on some of the nuts and then... I'm gonna have these baby cucumbers, which I'm literally obsessed with. Um, oh, mm. honestly, I'm, I think it's got like onion on the top as well. I don't feel like you can be a Marks and Spencer's of us. I also got. These little carrots, which will be insane to dip in the hummus too. Incredible. Majority of my shop is honestly just fruit and veg. Um, I love a good salad. So a really, really nice salad with like tuna, beetroot, hummus, cucumbers, little tomatoes. Like I literally love snacking on things like that. This is actually our snack drawer. So these are things that we snack on. Um, like we've got crisps. Um, I'm definitely more of like a crisp person. Lewis is definitely a sweet person. So. I always make sure that he's got like pencil cake and wine gums are his ultimate fave. I'm, I also love a good wine gum, but sweets aren't my go-to. They're more Lewis. Um, I'm probably more like a biscuit person or a chocolate person. So I love a good dark chocolate digestive. These are actually from Aldi and I prefer them to the... Are they the McVitie's ones? Um, I just prefer these ones way more. I think they're so nice and these are my favorite biscuits to have and i actually found them with orange which oh they're so delicious i love those ones too and after eights are also my ultimate favorite chocolate so there's some bits that i like snack on i'm gonna have a couple more carrots with the hummus whilst i'm eating that i'm going to i got this from Mark Spencer. so you know how i said that i wanted some soup i got some um, so I got this tomato and basil soup from Marks and Spencer's. I'm going to put half of that in the microwave. After I've had lunch, I'm also going to cook dinner for tonight because it is currently, I'm saying it's about 2pm. So I'm going to get dinner started for tonight so that I haven't got to worry about cooking them later. Um, 
I bought these four salmon fillets from Marks and Spencer's and then I got these chicken thighs. Lewis prefers breasts, but when I used to eat chicken, I always ate thighs and I felt like they were juicier, so I've got him thighs and I don't care. And he's not gonna complain. So I'm gonna season all my salmon, season all the chicken. Um, I'm gonna cook, I'm just gonna cook it all because I feel like if I open it and then reclose it, I just don't like it and I need to do some meal prep. So I'm gonna have one of these pieces of salmon tonight and then the other three, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna put them in containers and like make up meals for like meal preps because I haven't really found a company that I really, really enjoy their meal, that I enjoy their meals or I feel like they season them enough and I like a lot of seasoning on my salmon. Um, and I feel like all the meals that I were getting weren't really doing it for me. So I prefer to do it myself and also I can like control my portions better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cook all that salmon so that I can have some for meal preps. And then I'm just going to cook all the chicken for Lewis and probably put him some like in containers for him to potentially have tomorrow as well while he's at work. Um, because I know what he's like. If I leave, leave some, like he won't end up eating it all. And obviously it is a little bit more difficult with me not eating meat. Like... When you buy meat, it's not really a portion for one person. So you need to have like a, a couple of servings out of it. So I'm gonna put him some also in a food storer so that he can have some. My soup is done. I also got this um, little defense juice to have, which has got apple, cucumber, pineapple, and spinach. It's got, it's high in vitamins. So it's got vitamin b12 in and vitamin b6 vitamin c so i feel like these are really cute little shots i also got um some of like the bigger veg juices as well um that like i can just have like one of those a day just so i feel like you know a little bit healthier so i'm gonna have this defense little drink I was going to have some bread with my soup, but because I got a really nice loaf of bread, but as I say, because I'm not really that hungry. Oh, no, I'm actually gonna have a piece of bread. I just looked at it and thought, yeah, I need to have a piece of bread. I've just made up my fruit infused water. I literally just put lemon and mint in and just make them up and put them in the fridge. And they're so nice and like refreshing to have. So I've literally just sat down. Um, for the past couple of hours, I've literally just been cleaning the house, like hoovering, mopping and everything. I'm gonna start it around half past five so that it'll be ready for like, I'm hoping then it'll be ready for like seven. So, and then we'll have dinner then. So I'm literally just chilling. The house is so clean. Excuse like the washing hanging out. Um, I've been just doing so much washing today. So I literally have washing hanging everywhere. So I've just done myself a little fruit bowl. I got these bowls from Amazon and they're so handy to just put like little sa salads or little snacks or things in. So I've just put like a few cherries, a couple of grapes, and then I've put an orange in there. And then I've got one of my mint and lemon infused waters to have just while I do some editing. Okay, so a little bit later than planned. Um, it's about six o'clock and I'm just doing dinner now. So I'm gonna prepare the chicken and the salmon, um, like season it all and get it in the oven so that it'll be ready in like 40 minutes. <laughs> Um, I got this sweet papri paprika seasoning um, from Marks and Spencer's today, which looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna try this out on my salmon. And then of course some garlic with just some crushed chilies, just for a little bit of extra spice. So I'm literally just gonna like mix all of that together. Whilst that's just like marinating for like five or so minutes, I'm just gonna cut up some lemon um, so that I can put the lemon on top of my salmon when it's cooking because you need lemon. It is so good. <laughs> That's all ready to put in the oven. 
And then I'm gonna do Lewis's chicken. So I'm gonna like give them a wash, which I really hate handling chicken, but I'm doing this for Lewis, so it's fine. Such a baby when it comes to onions, like I just can't take it. So if I look like I'm crying, it's because I just chopped up an onion. So I chopped up an onion and put it in the pan. So that's ready for like when I do the sauce, which I'll do after. And then I've put the chicken, I've washed it and put it in a glass bowl. And then I'm just gonna season it. I'm gonna put some oregano on it. Some garlic. I don't really know what measurements I'm doing because I always season just by, from by my eye. So I can't really tell you what season I'm on. I'm gonna do Lewis the sweet Oh, so my battery died literally as I was seasoning the chicken, which was so annoying, but I'll let you know what I seasoned it with anyway. So I used a bit of oregano. I used garlic, of course, <clears throat> salt, black pepper and then i also used the sweet pa paprika which i also put on the salmon for me i've used that for lewis's and i also crushed a um oxo cube one of the chicken ones and put that on it too and it did look really delicious it's been in the oven for about 20 25 minutes along with the salmon i'm gonna start making the sauce for for the chicken and the salmon and then i also need to make some rice so i'm gonna put you guys like here and i'm hoping you can see everything that i'm doing normally i blend up like two big peppers but i'm going with a big pepper and then i had some little peppers i had like four little peppers that were going to be out of date so i'm just going to blend those up and then i'm using 10 little tomatoes or if you've got big tomatoes just use like two or three but i'm using like 10 little ones I'm gonna blend all those together and then the onion, I'm just gonna cook that with a little bit of oil. I've also got two garlic cloves, which I'm just gonna crush. And I'm gonna cook the onion with the garlic cloves. I actually got this recipe off um, like an Instagram page that's like for healthy eating. So I've cooked my onions and I've left those on the side to put in after. This is my um, pepper tomatoes and I also added a little bit of spinach into it too. Um, this is my seasoning for it. In the seasoning for the sauce, I've put in some curry powder, some ground pepper and some table salt. Um, I'm not going to put any of like the powdered garlic in because obviously I'll put the garlic in with the onions. Um, so I'm literally just going to put the seasoning in. Hey guys, so I've literally, I've set the camera up like this so that you can see what I'm doing. But I've just split the sauce into two so that I can put Lewis's chicken in one and then my salmon in the other so that it can kind of cook in the sauce a little bit. It's so funny that I'm all done. Hi. <laughs> So this is my salmon one, and then I've done this one for Kurt, this one for Louis, and this one for Tommy, and I've got chicken. He's cooking up a storm. I feel like I did an amazing job if I say so myself. 